Tonight, a district attorney in northern Colorado says critical services for victims of crimes could be in jeopardy. That's after the federal government proposed making significant cuts for programs that support victims. Your northern Colorado reporter Dylan Thomas is live in Lamar County for us tonight. And Dylan, this is money that is already being stretched thin. Yeah, Michael, every single year, the 8th Judicial District Attorney's Office is serving up to 6,000 victims of crimes, and that's just here in Jackson and Larimer counties alone. But now the federal government is considering cutting the funding to the Victims of Crimes Act by nearly a third, which is why all of the district attorneys from here in Colorado recently traveled to Washington, D.C. in order to ask Congress to reconsider. When victims come to us, it's often um, one of, if not the most traumatic time in their entire life. But by their side, in and out of the courtroom, are teams of victims' advocates. Advocates who are paid for, in part, by funding from VOCA, or the Victims of Crimes Act. While we're getting accountability with attorneys in courtrooms on defendants, we're also trying to serve victims behind the scenes. Gordon McLaughlin is the district attorney in Larimer and Jackson counties. He joined 21 other DAs from Colorado on a recent trip to Washington. And our top priority was talking to all of our congressional delegation about victim funding and specifically the VOCA funding. Lawmakers in D.C. are considering cutting VOCA's funding from $1.9 billion to $1.2 billion annually. When those grant funding gets cut, that means employees doing direct victim advocacy are being cut. And VOCA funding reaches far beyond the courthouse. And it impacts 72% of our clients. Kathleen Baumgartner is the executive director of Child Safe Colorado. We do outpatient therapy for victims of child abuse, primarily child sexual abuse. VOCA funding helped 728 clients through ChildSafe in Northern Colorado just last year. VOCA funding really encourages victims of crimes to get the help that they need. Underscoring why, McLaughlin says these funds cannot afford to take a cut. This can be really detrimental to be a victim of a crime, both financially and emotionally. And so having this wide support really doesn't just benefit those victims, it strengthens our whole community. Now, making things only worse, the state version of VOCA, which is known as Vail, is also facing potential budget cuts at the state capitol down in Denver. DA McLaughlin, who you just heard from, says he is not confident, but he's optimistic that lawmakers will make a decision that will avoid these budget cuts. Reporting live tonight in Larimer County, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado first. And we'll, of course, continue to follow that story. Dylan, thank you. Dylan lives in northern Colorado, and he is your reporter for Larimer and Weld Counties. You can send him an email if you have a story idea for him. You can do that through our website, cbscolorado.com.